Hello, I'm Marvin Chu. I'm a watercolor artist. And today we're going to do something interesting. In this bowl, there's lots of questions here. And then I'll pick a few and try to answer them as best as I can. Describe your art style. Because since I paint in watercolor, I'll say it's close to the traditional um, British transparent watercolor. I've learned uh, Chinese calligraphy when I was quite young. So if you look closely in my painting, you will see some calligraphic strokes that I incorporated into my painting. And especially when I paint outdoor because I need to paint uh, a little bit faster. So my strokes are quite visible. Um, so I think it's a good mix of West and East. Next. <laughs> Why did you choose to go from being an accountant to being an artist? I used to be a certified accountant. I uh, decided to uh, quit my job and become a full-time artist. The main reason is I'm so passionate in painting. I didn't find uh, the job satisfaction when I was an accountant. So uh, as I progress and I, as I paint more and more, I think that's my calling. What is your most memorable achievement as an artist? One of the most memorable ones, if I remember, was my first ever um, solo exhibition way back in 2012 itself. So um, that was like a um, booster, a confident booster for me to keep pursuing uh, what I'm doing. Um, the most recent one is um, the acceptance into the National Watercolor Society in the US and to become their signature member. So I've been uh, pursuing that signature membership for quite some time and it, it was kind of a relief and uh, also a recognition that um, you know my art is being uh, appreciated. Next question, what is the most rewarding part about being an artist? I would say the freedom I have as an artist uh, to pursue and to do what I want. Uh, previously as a working accountant, as you know, um, working life was kind of hectic with uh, tight deadlines to meet and I don't have much free time to pursue my art. Um, Full-time artist now, I get to uh, go out and paint on location if I want to. I can, you know, um, meet up with artist friends to discuss or even go to galleries. Um, it's been uh, quite an exciting 10 years now. Um, I think that's the most rewarding part about being an artist. And of course, when your uh, paintings are being collected, that was the most acknowledgement from um, your collectors and art lovers. Ah, what is your favorite Singapore locations to paint? There are several. The first time I painted on location in Singapore was way back, close to 20 years ago, I think. Um, at that time, um, part of Chinatown was not fully refurbished and renovated yet. So I was walking along, I remember Club Street and Ang Siang Hill. Um, then I saw a very dilapidated, very like an abandoned shop house. Uh, so I sat down and then started just sketching with pencil. And when I went home, um, I saw the same um, buildings being painted in a very beautiful watercolor by um, Mr. Loy Chai Chuan. So I um, went online to look for him and then I called him up and asked if he teach watercolor painting. So I ended up um, learning from him for the next two years and um, over the years I painted at Chinatown, Little India, Katong area, you name it, all the heritage shop houses area like Tanjong Paga. Um, and if I'm overseas, I look for exotic places. In Malaysia, I love painting the kampongs and the villages. And also Singapore River. I've been there a lot of times as well, painting along the Singapore River. I would say my absolute favourite is probably Jalan Besar because along the whole stretch, you've got a lot of old shop, shop houses and there are quite a number of sheltered area where we can just paint. So that's it. So thanks for watching and see you.